All right, guys, so this is a video to show uh, what happens with the Nexus 6 whenever we uh, go through the setup process and we use an ATT SIM card. And let's see uh, what sort of apps or bloodware gets installed in uh, by going through the legitimate process of setup. So we just resetted the, this new Nexus 6. Uh, we are about to put this little guy, this SIM card, is an ATT SIM card and I have the fancy tray that comes with the Nexus 6, it's probably the fanciest uh, SIM card tray I've ever seen and because it has a nice spring to keep the SIM card in place and uh, let's wait to see if this thing uh, ends building up and then we'll go ahead with uh, the setup. All right, so here it is. Uh, we, this is the first screen of the setup process. And what the first thing that happens is that we get asked to insert the SIM card, which we are about to do right on the top. Uh, right there let's see so this should take uh, not too long and it just happened there and as you can see uh this is 80 team car got lt coverage and we're supposed to pick up uh, wi-fi but Okay, so now we uh, can set up uh, the device either through through Wi-Fi or we can go ahead and set up the device alone through the cell phone network. So let's do that. It complains that we are going to use data, but that's okay. So let's just keep the Wi-Fi set up. So now is when we would go and set up this Nexus 6 from another device, but we're just going to do a new setup. It's going to ask my uh, Google account, so I'll be right back. Let me put the stuff in and be right back. All right, so I just put the Google account credentials and we are starting up the setup of the device. Uh, this is all now happening through the cell network and it's asking us to either reboot from a previous backup but we'll just come up from a setup this as a new device uh, we'll accept everything all the defaults we want google now and now this is going to take a while so i'll be right back after this ends and i think all right so we're back and this is right the first screen we get after setup um, and if we go to the app drawer we'll see that indeed we got two apps ATT Live and then my ATT uh, account manager and I think that's as far as visible apps go I really don't know what this thing does and probably I don't care and I know this is all if you tap and hold you can actually uninstall them yes and the same thing goes for this guy so yeah you can remove them so no big deal there and let's see what's going on with the sorry with the tethering situation uh if we go to tethering and i try to turn this on this account i've been getting this i don't know why and then if there's a problem with my account uh i should check it out but i have not been able to do tethering um with this device on my att account and this uh, account has a shared 30 gigabyte data plan i've been using tethering with many of the other devices without problems so maybe this is something that will take a while to get resolved or there is some problem with my account i do not know Right, that's it guys.